Because saw Aerosmith <laughs> or, or Meatloaf. No. <laughs> no way. So I wouldn't see. No, you wouldn't see yeah. Meatloaf. <laughs> and I would do anything for them. But I won't do that. Uh, no. No, I won't do anything for them. Yeah. Rockin' out, me low! Rockin' out, you fat motherfucker! <laughs>it's your girl godly and today i have a special guest for you guys go ahead guest and introduce yourself what's up everybody it's your boy you fun to get it <laughs> what's going on not much what's going on with you oh um, you know same shit different day <laughs> so anyways guys today we're going to be talking about video game violence and just nothing really specific just in general you know i the first time i think i ever heard about like video game violence really was uh, the whole Columbine thing, mm -hmm. um, when they were talking about Doom and all those really old games that some of the people listening may not remember. <laughs> but I guess my <laughs> is my son is 11, and he's been playing Call of Duty since he was about, like, six. And I think if you raise your kids right, they're not going to go ballistic. I mean, some kids, I think, have issues, <laughs> and I think that's kind of the parents, you know, hard to figure that out you know what i mean right like, i just think it's stupid that they put it all on the game and you know obviously those kids in combine they obviously had more issues than just the fact that they played a fucking game you know what i mean exactly and i mean that's something like i don't know i'm a big dr phil fan but you know that's what he said like if you're that fucking violent and it pisses you off or makes you rage that bad like, there was fucking issues to begin with. It isn't just right. the fucking video game. There's something fucked up in your head that makes you do that. It's not yeah. just a video game. I, I agree. My son, like I said, my son's been playing. He's 11 now. And he's never even been in a fight in school. Yeah. I mean, literally, he's been upset about things. And he comes home and talks to me about it. And I think that there are... I just think that there's certain people that, you know, will go off no matter what, there, there's going to be something that leads to it. And I don't think that video games are what leads to it. You know what I mean? Or right. music. They say you know, music is it. I listened to Marilyn Manson and all that stuff when I was growing up. I never killed anybody. Exactly. Me so. too. Fucking ICP. All of that shit. Yeah. I didn't fucking freak out. I mean, if there's, like I said, if there's an issue, then there's a fucking problem long before. I mean. It's something it, to do with them. Mentally, I yeah, think, they just supposed to, and I think that's the parents' job to figure that out. You know what I mean? Like, okay, if my kid is having problems, you know, with all this stuff, they're not grasping reality. The fact that this is a video game, and you don't take this to that level, then maybe my kid shouldn't be playing it, and maybe I need to get them help. Yeah. <laughs> Instead of just like, oh, go ahead and kill everybody on this game. You know, you'll be fine. Don't worry about it. Right. If a motherfucker can't, you know, doesn't know the difference between a video game and fucking reality, like, there's fucking something wrong. I think, <laughs> you know? I think one of the biggest things, and I know that people are going to disagree with this because I've had this conversation so many times, <laughs> but the, the biggest thing is... You want you, somebody needs to explain to me how these kids get guns because, like, I mean, okay, you know, some of these other countries you, you look at that don't that have really strict gun policies, they don't have this kind of problem, right? They don't have kids going into schools and stuff and, and just shooting up people. And I have I'm all for people's rights to have a gun, you know, I totally believe in that amendment, but I still think at the same time, you know, being able to get your hands on a fully automatic weapon. You're not going to be taking that fucking thing out and shooting a deer. Like, yeah. <laughs> no. There's, there's something with it besides that. I mean, you, you, if you got yourself a fucking AK-47, you're not going to be like, yeah, I'm going to take this thing out and go shoot a deer with this. Like, obviously, you're going to be doing something crazy with it. <laughs> exactly. There, and to me, you know, of course, I'm Southern and I'm all, you know, you ain't taking away my guns. This is America, you know, kind of right. shit like that. But. To me, there there doesn't even need to be a need for that, you know, for any kind of semi-automatic or automatic weapon, you know? Right. Just, what the fuck are you going to do with it? Like, what do you need it for? I, I, 
I think the funniest uh, commercial that put it really into perspective for me was there was this commercial where this guy goes in like he's doing a school shooting or whatever, and you know they're talking about the Second Amendment or whatever, and he comes in and he shoots off one bullet, and then you see him using a muzzle loader like they did back then, you know, he's so he's like <laughs> putting the powder in and pushing the bullet down, and you see everybody nice. like leaves the room, you know. And I mean, I think that's kind of, we have to also put into perspective, like, when the amendment was made. The amendment was made when, if you were going to go shoot a whole room full of people, it's going to take you 45 minutes. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know I, mean? I not, know. Not I, when these guys, like, machine guns and shit like that, we are just going off, like, you're in the fucking mobster days or whatever. Uh, well, you know, down here, like, I don't know, you know, it was up for discussion, but allowing the teachers to carry. So, yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Oklahoma recently, you know, passed the law where you can openly carry, you know, if you if you have license for it. And it's just weird seeing people, you know, carrying around a fucking holster and a gun and shit. It's just like, what the fuck? Yeah, you know, but I, they openly carry. I just, I'm not down with that shit at all. No, I don't think that, you know, I think the only good thing about that is the fact that you have to go through a process to be able to do that. To where they are almost, you know, pretty sure that you're not some crazy fuck. I mean, some of these or whatever that at that little school, at the elementary school, uh -huh. like he had a lot of issues, and they knew about it beforehand, and he still got his hands on guns. Whether he got it through his mother or whatever, there's no way that he should have been able that even the mom should be able to have guns if he, that kid was living there. Like if they knew that he had mental problems, you know what I mean? Yeah. Well, and I look at it like I really do agree that first and foremost. You know, as a parent, that's your responsibility. You should know, you know, if something's wrong with your child. I know children can fucking go out of their way to hide shit and cover shit up. But, you know, I really believe that it starts at home, without a doubt. You know? And then to yeah. top that off, when it comes into video games, why are these motherfuckers that are 14 and 15 shouldn't even be playing the fucking game? You know? Why are they fucking playing it to begin with? And then you fucking right. blaming it. You know, blaming the game when the motherfucker shouldn't even been playing it. So I blame the parents. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely, you You have to know how to raise a kid. I mean, I think what it is is a lot of people use it as a tool to just get their kids out of their face. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, okay, you got an Xbox, here's a game, go play it. You know, and they don't even spend the time to actually, okay, what is in this game? What are you doing on this game? And yeah. I think that's one thing, like, when I play games, like, at least I know what he's playing, you know what I mean? Because I know what game it is, or I'll watch it, or, or something like that. If it's something like Grand Theft Auto or something like that, I mean, that gets a little bit crazy, and that's just a guy running around shooting a bunch of people. I mean, yeah, there's supposed to be some kind of, you know, theme to it, or but I mean, that's basically it. You just run around killing people, you know what I mean? Yeah, exactly. I just, I don't know. Like I said, I think it starts at home, and they need to be more involved. They don't need to give them a fucking Xbox as a babysitter. And just send them mm -hmm. on their way, you know. I, I just really think it starts at home and quit blaming, you know, other people and other things for, you know, the things that maybe you could have, you could have prevented it. And I'm not saying that, you, you know, any of these things could have been prevented. But I'm saying if you, you know, if you had a closer eye maybe on your children, or at least know what the fuck. Some parents don't even know what the fuck is going on with their children. Right. You know, at all. Fun. Yeah, they just. You know, do whatever. Just send them places. Like I said, use the Xbox or the TV for a fucking babysitter and just go on and do their business. But Well, well I mean, on top of video games, I mean, there's movies that are like yeah. that, too. You know, there's plenty of movies that kids watch nowadays that are just as bad as video games. You know what I mean? It's just like, it's unbelievable what parents just let their kids do. Exactly. And, you know, like last night... <laughs> Last night, I was so pissed off at this fucking game, at Black Ops 2, that I thought I was going to flip a fucking switch. No. No, no, kidding. right? No, never. <laughs> it just literally had me heated. And, you know, there I know everyone out there has at some point got pissed off either at Black Ops 2 or some other video game. But, you know, you know how to know the difference between reality and the game. You know, and if yeah. you can't just walk away and cool down, you know, and you mm -hmm. have fucking issues. Now, I know for me, like, I can't just get over it like that. It takes me a minute to fucking, you know, simmer down. 
but <laughs> I don't fucking want to just go blow up my neighborhood or some shit. You know, yeah. it's just some people have absolutely no. F- For me, I, it's, it's the moment I turn it off, I kind of let it go. I'm like, I just turn it off and I'm like, whatever. If I rage quit, which, you know, if I like playing, then I'm like, I'm gone. And I just leave. Yeah. <laughs> like, as soon as I get done with that, I just turn something else on. I forget all about it. But there's been a couple of times where something's happened and <laughs> you're just like, you know that you're like, son of a bitch. I know that I should have got that or whatever. And it just pisses you off because. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, it's. I. Th- I really think that uh, you know Vondahar and them should go to jail for child violence. <laughs> that's just what they're doing because they're going to make me end up beating my kid. I mean, <laughs> I mean that's just it's just wrong, you know. <laughs> oh, I was so fucking mad last night. Just and I like got up and I was like, I will never play this motherfucker again. As long as I live, I will never play Black Ops Two again. I was so pissed and I just. You know, like when somebody sends me a message or someone talks shit to me, like I fucking have to have the last word with it. You know, I cannot. And then I'll block that motherfucker, but I cannot, you know, go down without a fight. So I kind of get how people just can keep going and keep going and keep going. But, you know, like you just have to fucking like stop. Like, what the fuck? So we're playing Black Ops 2 after this, right? Yeah, definitely. Okay, good. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> All right, guys, I hope that you enjoyed another dual calm about video game violence. Anyways, that's what I got for you guys. Till next time, peace out.